Alright folks, I'll be back back for now Rick and Morty figure. Uh, this is the fourth one of the series of videos I'm doing, so if you've missed the others, certainly go back to my channel, please subscribe, and um, check out yeah, the other figures in the line. This is the fully poseable action figure of Mr. Poopy Butthole. Um, now Mr. Poopy Butthole, if you do not know, uh, first appeared in the episode The Total Rickle. Um, he's known to be a long-term friend of the family. Um, yeah, this guy has kind of grown a little bit more of a legacy from that one episode. Um, he is now famous for the end of every season, now having his own little segment. We'll come to that in a few moments uh, when we're looking at the figure. We'll just do our usual run around of the box. So we see this includes Snowball himself in the figure. So you see here in the front, and obviously a buildable figure. And around the back, we have already done Rick, Morty, Mr. Meeseek, so it's Mr. Pooh Butthole's turn. And next will be Bird Person, and the finale, of course, will be Snowball in the mix suit. Um, that's all usually in the back of the box, it's the exact same in every single one. Made in China, 0 to 3 Sad Onions, made by Funko, and it's for a 6 plus, which as I said in my previous videos, anyone under a stage of 6, they probably play with these figures to be fair, because they are action figures, um, fairly posable, but they would, I wouldn't imagine they'd really watch the show. Uh, or if they even, they probably would watch it, just wouldn't understand a single thing that's going on. I mean, there's a few adults out there that watch the show and don't understand what's going on either. So we've removed Mr. Pooh Butthole from his plastic prison. And we will take it out. So let's release the figures. I love the fact these aren't actually held in. Love, apart from the smaller items, because obviously they want them escaping. So I'm trying to see off camera here how these are held in. No little bit of tape, so no expense spared in terms of securing everything in. My god, that's going to get lost, definitely. And uh, his cane. So yeah, as I was saying, um, Mr. Poopy Butthole, the reason he needs his medication and and his cane. I um, had a bit of an unfortunate incident with, um, with Beth, Rick's daughter and Morty's mother. That's not how it works with these families. Um, yeah, getting getting shot. She didn't think that in the whole episode that he was actually real. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole episode, but yeah, she ends up shooting him. Beth shoots him. And he gets a little tiny, tiny bottle of medicine or tablets or whatever they are. Um, that's going to have to stay in his hand at all times because that would just get lost. And his only other accessory is his cane, which helps him to walk after that episode. So as I was explaining is that he now has a bit of a legacy at the end of every season. So there's only been three seasons, but at the end of every season so far, uh, he's revealed to be watching the um, watching the final episodes of series one uh, with the audience, and ha kind of has a little little line himself um, goes and talking about it, and then uh, every season since he's had a little role, which kind of comments on the season and what's to come. I'm sorry, light it's got real light outside. It's really Brighten the figure. Um, but compared to some of the other Rick and Morty figures, um, there you go, can see a bit better now. Just kind of put my hand to this off the screens. Um, he's got a little more detail. So Mr. Meeseeks, not much to him, but at least Mr. Poopy Butthole has his hat, which is non removable. Um, oh my god, his head actually moves really easily. <laughs> it spins round. Um, yeah, he's got a nice little little face. Quite happy with chappy. Um, but yeah, the actual whole race of Poopy Buttholes, or Mr. Poopy Butthole has got a whole family, uh, Mrs. Poopy Butthole, and Baby Poopy Butthole. Um, see, quite a straightforward, like, in terms of clothing. But this is what the guys look, this is exactly how they look like in the series. That's why I love these figures. Because um, you can get a better representation of a 2D animation. Um, I'm not going to stop this video, I'm going to have to put the blinds down for the next video. But yeah, full range of motion, although it doesn't have uh, ball joint hands, or arms, I should say. Uh, get the focus to work. His arms just go up and down. You don't move in and out like the other range. And don't move at the elbow. Does have hand movement. So he's a little bit more limited than the other ones. I just saw I just had to spin his head around again. That was brilliant. Doesn't have anything with his hat, so that's all solid. Legs do go forward and back, but do seem to be a little bit tight along the top of his t-shirt. And his feet don't even move. So he's actually one of the more limited figures in the series. Um, let's try, sorry, 
they're a snowball, but I'm not going to show you him too much because I'm going to, I'm going to save him for the for the, the build. Um, so let's see if I can get his tablets in there. Seems to work. And can we get his cane? So yeah, hopefully I explained that properly. As I said before, you probably already know who Mr. Poobahole is. If you're watching this video, you've most likely seen the um, the TV series. Will it actually sit in his hand as a cane, or do I have to just make him hold it? Excuse me while I um, play with this action figure for you watching the video. It's so intense stuff here. doesn't actually help. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. That'll do. So there we go. He's got his cane, his, his meds after Beth shooting him. Hopefully you can see him okay. It's got really bright outside, um, which is my main light source of this video. But yeah, he's a cool little character. He looks exactly as, as he'd been in the series. Um, I'll bring in the vinyl figure for the finale. I've got a couple of these figures already in the mystery bags, which is another one of my videos on the channel. So check that out. Um, but that's all for this video, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy There's no impression of Mr. Poop at home. So I've done impressions on most of the other videos, but I'm not going to do one this time. You'll be glad to hear. Um, I'll see you for the next video, which is going to be Bird Person. And then we can get into the build of uh, Snowball. That's all for now, guys. Bye-bye.